I am in beautiful Hoi An, Vietnam. This ancient city is a living museum of Chinese, Japanese, and European cultural fusion. Hoi An offers some of the most densely populated ancient sites in all of Vietnam. In this video, we're going to explore it all. So let's get started. Strolling the streets of Hoi An in the morning, before the crowds are out, you feel like you have traveled back in time. The ancient town of Hoi An was classified a UNESCO World Cultural Heritage Site in 1999. Dating back to the 15th century, Hoi An Ancient Town has retained its original function as an outstanding example of a well-preserved and traditional Southeast Asian trading port and commercial center. Located on the banks of the Tu Ban River near the East Vietnam Sea, Trading in Hoi An has been going on for over 2,000 years. Developing into an international port city in the 15th century, this was a hub for commercial trade until the river silted up. Like every place I have visited in Vietnam, Hoi An has a thriving daily market. During a morning visit to the Hoi An market, when things are really bustling, you will be met with a stunning selection of local produce supplying Hoi An's restaurants. Vietnamese food is always wonderfully fresh and relies heavily on local family farmers. Visiting a morning produce market offers a great view into a fresh supply chain and gives a greater appreciation of the cuisine. Emblematic of Hoi An, this beautiful bridge was constructed in the 1590s to link the Japanese community to the Chinese quarters. This bridge was built with a sturdy design to be earthquake proof and it has stood the test of time. The entrances to the bridge are guarded by a pair of ancient and weathered monkeys on one end and dogs on the other. This is because the bridge was started in the year of the monkey and finished in the year of the dog. Hoi An's Japanese bridge is one of the city's most recognizable sites. The bridge even contains its own temple. And from here you can stroll east down Tran Phu Street into the ancient town in search for Hoi An's Chinese and Japanese temples and pagodas, known for their spiritual charms, mysterious beauty, and sacred shrines. I spent an entire afternoon exploring the temples. Each are beautiful in their own way and are worth taking the time to visit. So we planned our trip here to the ancient city of Hoi An to coincide with Lunar New Year, or Tet, also known as Chinese New Year. In China, it is the year of the rabbit. Here in Vietnam, it's the year of the cat. The week-long Tet celebration has definitely been a wonderful addition to the already great vibe found here. But it has made for some big crowds, but nothing unmanageable. We get out and explore early, and even though it gets really busy later in the day, it has still been a lot of fun. It's one big party here during the holiday, but we did find a couple of great things to do just outside of town to escape the crowds. One of the first things you'll notice after arriving in Hoi An is the number of people on bicycles and scooters. Not just locals either. Many people tour the ancient town and the surrounding areas on bicycle and scooter. They're easy and cheap to rent, and so that's what I'm going to do today. I've rented myself a bike, and I'm going to take a tour of the surrounding countryside. Riding around Hoi An in the morning is easy, but as the streets get full, it's best to head out of town. In just five minutes, you can be out of the city and in the rice paddies. This has to be one of the most enjoyable and relaxed places I have ever ridden a bike.
On the other side of the rice paddies, you can get back on the road and visit the Tra K Vegetable Village. This village supplies a lot of the organic veggies and herbs you eat at restaurants in Hoi An and has been doing things the same way for over 400 years. From here, it's only about another five minute ride to the beach. I'm at the Coconut Village and I'm taking a ride in a traditional round basket boat. These basket boats are made out of all natural fibers that they actually weave into a basket. And then they cover it with cow dung for waterproofing. And then they put a layer of resin or tree sap over that for further waterproofing. They may look awkward, but they are lighter and more practical than a traditional fishing boat. They can't capsize, don't leak, and can easily be paddled by one person, and they are all natural. We did our tour on the river, but these boats are also used to fish in the open ocean. These coconut basket boats have been in use for about 150, 200 years. When the French tried to colonize Vietnam, they put a heavy tax on all the local fishermen's boats, which they just could not afford. So they wove these boats, these round basket boats, and the French had to declare them a basket and not a boat, and so they couldn't tax them. And that's how these got started. The spot to take the basket boat tour is just a few kilometers outside of Hoi An. You have the opportunity to get into one of these boats and have a guy spin you around in circles, but that looked a little too crazy for me. It's pretty crazy out here on this basket boat ride. It's pretty touristy, but it is a party. It is so much fun. You would really be missing out if you didn't do this when you visit Hoi An. During the day, Hoi An is stunning. At night, it is spectacular. As the sun sets, the streets turn into a sparkling display of colorful silk lanterns strung wall to wall throughout the town. The pedestrian bridge lights up as small boats gather with their lanterns to take you on a river boat cruise. The boat cruise is very affordable and well worth the time. Being out on the water at night is magical. The river twinkles with hundreds of small paper lanterns local vendors sell. You can make a wish and set your lantern afloat. After your boat ride, hit the Riverside Night Market. This is a great spot to have a fun and affordable meal, feasting on delicious items such as skewers of everything from pork to frog huge fresh spring rolls, banana pancakes, and my personal favorite, the wonderful crispy rice paper topped with a quail egg and cooked over a charcoal fire. On my last day in Hoi An, I took a trip to explore some of this area's ancient history. I am at the very unique UNESCO World Heritage Site of Mi Sun Sanctuary, located about an hour from Hoi An. These are the remains of some very impressive tower temples constructed between the 4th and 13th centuries. These monuments are unique in Southeast Asia and are an exceptional example of cultural interchange with an indigenous society adapting to outside cultural influences, very notable in the art and architecture from India. Owing its spiritual origins to Indian Hinduism, this dramatic site was the religious and political capital of the Champa Kingdom for most of its existence. Today, 71 standing temples exist, and many more lie unexcavated due to the possibility of unexploded ordnance. Sadly, this site was bombed during the war in 1969, and many of the temples were destroyed. What remains now is a fascinating site that helps you to understand the diverse and complex history in this part of Vietnam. There is so much to see and do here in Hoi An, and it has been great fun. If you like this video, please hit that like button, comment, and subscribe, because there is so much more to come.